So I showed in the previous video how to polish the axles, how to remove the burrs um, and get the, the shaft of the axle nice and smooth. Um, next I want to go over how to use one of these little axle dies. Uh, so this is a, a couple part process, but I'm going to walk you through it. Um, you can buy speed axles online where all this work is already done. Honestly, for what they cost, the, the nails that you get in the kit with a little time spent can be just as good as the speed axles you can buy. So I don't remember how much I paid for this. I want to say it was around 15 or $20. Um, I've used it on at least a dozen cars now. Um, up front, I probably spent about $100 in different um, dies and tools and things to build derby cars. But again, I figure, you know, if I'm doing two or three cars a year over five years while they're in Cub Scouts, you know, it's not a lot of money to spend each year. So um, to start with, you want to make sure that the shaft of your axle is as straight as possible. So if you look at the die, the die has two sides on it. One side has this conical indention, the other side is flat. So to start with, we're going to start on the flat side. Now what I typically do is I'll put this down on the floor and I'll hold it. You can see the die is a, a two-part piece. There's only one way that they'll fit together, so you, you can't really do it wrong. Um, so I put those together and then I'm going to come down to the floor and I've got just a regular framing hammer um, and I'm going to hit it two or three times hard enough to make a difference but you know I'm, I'm not driving iron here so um, you got to kind of be careful with your hits and then I want to try to rotate that nail in there about 90 degrees or as close to 90 as I can get and then I'm going to put my die back together, a couple more hits. Now what I've done with that is I've now straightened that shaft so that there's not any bend, there's not any wobble in it as the nail turns. The next thing I want to do, if you look at the head of the nail on the, on the back side here, it's typically flat. Um, which means that the entire surface of the nail is going to be in contact with the wheel. When we look at our wheels, the center of the wheel has uh, these little indentions going down. Um, that gives you a little relief. You can put some graphite in there, but with the nail in, right now we have the full surface of the nail rubbing on the, the outside of the wheel. So what we want to do is try to minimize or reduce uh, the amount of friction that we have on the inside of the head of the nail. So that's what this conical end of your die is for. So you put it in, you want to hold your die nice and tight together. And just a couple hits. One of the things you're going to notice is on the gap where the head of the nail is, you get a little ripple in there because it's not continuous. So I don't take it all the way down, I take it part of the way down so I can again rotate that 90 degrees, come back in, just some little gentle taps in there so that I can finish off that head. Now we've got a nice flat head on the outside and the inside of the head is conical. Now doing all of that, I have taken the outside of the head and it's probably no longer uh, perfectly round. So I want to take that back over to my drill press. I'm going to check it up. Again, I only hand tighten these because I don't want to damage the nails. I'm going to go back to my fine file. And just ever so slightly right at the edge of the head take just a little material off of the head of the nail. And I really watch more the filings that are coming off than the head itself. And then I want to test fit it. I want to put that nail in and see how much of a gap I have. Make sure that the edge of that head is not rubbing anywhere on the inside of the wheel. And that looks pretty good. So the next thing I want to talk about 
um, is how to cant or bend the axles. So we'll cover that in the next video.